Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Some time ago I showed you how to control the rotation speed of a universal motor savaged from a broken washing machine. You can find the link at that video here below in the description. Today I want to build a simple but powerful bench grinder using that motor. Let's get started. The motor can spin extremely fast, so the first thing to do is to secure it to the bench with a small piece of flat iron bar like this one. Let's test if it is enough to keep the motor still. I clamp the flat bar in the vise and everything seems firm and secure. Yes, it's good enough in my opinion. I want to use the angle grinder discs on this motor, so I have to make a small step on its pulley to lock the discs in place. To create a step, I switch the motor on and I use a flat file to turn the corner of the pulley at the right diameter. Then I drill and tap the center of the axle for an M6 bolt. And that's what I wanted. A pulley with a clean step and a tapped hole in the center of the axle. Now I can secure an angle grinder disc and test my new bench grinder. Just above the minimum speed, it's already scary fast. As you can see, the disc spins fast, the motor has no vibrations and the grinder is very powerful.
I can also use a flap disc for a more gentle grinding. The grinder is powerful but lightweight, so when I finish at grinding I can put it apart easily. All in all I am very pleased, I am sure this will be one of the most used tools in my shop. It is perfect to clean the mushroom end of this center punch for example. Obviously this grinder is a dangerous machine. It has no guards, no protections and spins at high speed. I'll be sure to switch it on only wearing safety goggles and dust masks. Perfect! Be sure to check my DIY playlist. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to support the channel. It's absolutely free. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.